Welcome back to my channel Math School. In this channel, I upload videos on class 10 insert math. So today we will take up the last question that is question number 13 from exercise 4.2 chapter 4 circles. So again with this we complete the whole chapter of circles. I have also completed theorem 4.1, 4.2, exercise 4.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, you can find the link in the description box below. Also, I have completed other important chapter videos such as Act Progression, Pair of Linear Equations, Triangles, Quadratic Equation, Coordinate Geometry, Introduction to Trigonometry, Some Applications of Trigonometry, Real Numbers and Chapter Circles. So again, link for all this is provided in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you will be notified with all the latest upcoming videos on my channel. So now quickly let us begin with the video. Question number 13 from exercise 4.2 chapter 4 circle says prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral subscribing a circle subtend supplementary angles at the center of the circle. So here let us understand the question and draw the figure since the figure is not given in the question. So here we have to prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral. So let us first draw a quadrilateral and name it as ABCD. So this quadrilateral is subscribing a circle. So let us draw a circle inside this quadrilateral with center as O. And this circle touches the quadrilateral at points P, Q, R and S. Okay, so now what we have to prove, we have to prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtends the supplementary angle at the center of the circle. So which is the center of the circle? This is our center of the circle. So at this center, the opposite side, so let us first consider the side AB. So from this side AB, we will draw two lines joining at the center in this manner. Similarly, from the opposite side CD, we will draw another two lines. So at this center point, the opposite sides will subtend a supplementary angle. That means the angle made by AOB plus angle made by COD will be equal to 180 degree. Supplementary angles means that the two angles together will be equal to 180 degree. Similarly, the other two sides, which are the other two sides, AD and CB. Here, the angle AOD plus angle BOC give you a 180 degree angle. So that we have to prove here. So let us first write down what is given in the question. Then we will write what we have to prove and then we will write down the proof and if there are uh, any construction to be done, we, can, we will write down the construction part as well. So let us first write down what is given in the question. Given, let ABCD be the quadrilateral circumscribing a circle with center O. And also this ABCD the quadrilateral touches the circle at points P, Q, R and S. Right, so let us write down what we have to prove. So now we have to prove that opposite sides subtend a supplementary angles at the center. So we will write down that center that is angle AOP plus angle COD will be equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle BOC plus angle AOD will be equal to 180 degree. So that is angle AOB plus angle COD equal to 180 degree and angle COB plus angle AOD will be equal to 180 degree. So this is what we have to prove. So now let us write down the proof. So here how do we prove this? You can observe to this circle there are four external points that is point A, B, C and D. Right? So we can apply theorem 4.2 to these external points, any tangents drawn from the external points will be equal in length. Again, here if you join OP, it forms the radii of the circle and also the radii is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So therefore, let us join OP. Also, we can join OQ which is another point of contact between the circle and the quadrilateral which again forms the radii. Similarly, we can join OR and OS. So after joining this, here you can see at the center point, there are several angles formed. So let us write down the construction part as well. Construction, join OP, OQ, OR and OS. Join OP, OQ, OR and OS. So this is the construction. Now we will start with the proof. 
the sum of all the angles at the center will always be equal to 360 degree right so that we already know so here from this external point a which are the two triangles formed with respect to the center triangle aop and triangle aos these are the two triangles which are formed for every external point there are two triangles formed here so let us name the angles formed with respect to the center that will be easy for us to prove so let us name this as angle 1 similarly then we will name this angle as angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 this is angle 7 and this will be angle 8 the sum of all these angles at the center will be equal to 180 degree right so for every external points we have two triangles formed so let us consider for external point a the two triangles that is triangle aop and triangle aos now for this external point a we will prove that these two triangles are congruent likewise for all the other three external points that is point b c and d again two triangles will be congruent so first we will prove for point external point a that these two triangles triangle aop and triangle aos are congruent and then similarly we can write for other uh, external points as well so let us write down in triangle aop and aos we have ap is equal to as because the length of tangents drawn from the external point are always equal so by theorem 4.2 we can say that AP is equal to AS. AP is equal to AS by theorem 4.2. Here I am just writing down by theorem 4.2. You have to write down the statement of the theorem 4.2 so that you will get full marks in your examination. Then we have a common side here for both the triangles that is AO. So we will write AO is equal to AO that is common side. Then the other side that is OS will be equal to OP because these two are the radii of the same circle, right? So OS is equal to OP that is radii of same circle. So we have proved in these two triangles all the three sides are equal. Therefore by SSS congruent criteria, therefore by SSS uh, congruency criteria we can say that triangle AOP is congruent to triangle AOS. So therefore, triangle AOP is congruent to triangle AOS by side 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 congruency criteria and therefore since these two triangles are congruent now then the corresponding part of the congruent triangle will also be equal therefore here angle 1 will be equal to angle 8 because it is the corresponding part of the congruent triangles right. So therefore by corresponding part of the congruent triangle angle 1 will be equal to angle 8. So let us take this as equation number 1. Now similarly we can prove that these two triangles BOP is congruent to BOQ. Therefore angle 2 will be equal to angle 3. Likewise we can prove angle 4 is equal to angle 5 and angle 6 is equal to angle 7. So instead of proving for all these triangles we will just write similarly we can prove angle 2 equal to angle 3. Take this as equation number 2. Angle 4 equal to angle 5. Let this be equation number 3 and angle 6 is equal to angle 7 this will be equation number 4 right so after proving this we will write down the sum of all these angles equal to 360 and the reason will be sum of angles around a center point will be 360 degree okay so we will write down angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 equal to 360 degree because sum of angles around a point is 360 degree sum of angles around a point around a point is 360 degrees so here if you see in what we had to prove angle AOB plus angle COD is equal to 180 degree what is angle AOB angle AOB is angle 1 plus angle 2 right and angle COD is angle 5 plus angle 6 
so here since we want angle 1 plus angle 2 and angle 5 and angle 6 we will keep these angles as it is and we will substitute this value of angle 3 angle 4 plus angle 8 equal to 360 degree so write down angle 8 also here i had missed out writing angle 8 here so here we will substitute angle 3, angle 4, angle 7 and angle 8 value from equations 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So you write down from equations 1, 2, 3 and 4. First we will keep angle 1, angle 2, angle 5 and angle 6 as it is. So angle 1 plus angle 2 plus instead of angle 3 we will substitute its value here that is equal to angle 2 plus similarly angle 4 value is equal to angle 5 plus we will keep angle 5 and angle 6 as it is plus instead of angle 7 we will substitute its value it is equal to angle 6 plus instead of angle 8 we will substitute its value which is angle 1 equal to 360 degree okay so here we have angle 1 and angle 1 so it will become 2 angle 1 plus similarly angle 2 and angle 2 is there which will be 2 angle 2 plus angle 5 and, and angle 5 is there which will become 2 times of angle 5 likewise we have angle 6 and angle 6, 6 which again will become 2 times of angle 6 equal to 360 degree now let us take 2 common in all these angles so if you take out 2 common we will be left with angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equal to 360 degree or we have angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equal to 360 divided by 2 what is 360 divided by 2 it is equal to 180 degree now here we have angle 1 plus angle 2 but from the figure what is angle 1 plus angle 2 it is AOB angle AOB right so we will substitute here angle AOB plus what is 5 and 6 5 and 6 together will form angle COD right so angle AOB plus angle COD is equal to 180 degree right so here we have proved the, that angle AOB plus angle COD is equal to 180 degree so similarly you can write down angle COB plus angle AOD is also equal to 180 degree that we can also prove right so hence you can write down hence both angles are supplementary okay you can write down this also angle cob plus angle aod is equal to 180 degree so in the question if they ask you to prove only that angle cob plus angle aod is equal to 180 degree then i'll show you how to prove this angle is equal to 180 degree here i have proved how the first part that is angle aob plus angle cod is equal to 180 degree you can prove one part and you can write down similarly we can prove the other angles as well but separately when they ask you to prove each of the angles then for angle AOB plus angle COD this method you have to follow if they ask you to prove angle COB plus angle AOD is equal to 180 degree then what is angle COB is made of angle COB is equal to angle 4 plus angle 3 and angle AOD is made of angle 7 and angle 8 so in this equation you have to keep angle 3 4 7 and 8 as it is and you have to substitute the remaining angles from equations 1 2 3 and 4 okay so i'll write down here again and i'll show you see if you have angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus angle 8 equal to 360 degree now since we have to prove cob angle plus angle aod equal to 180 degree so here cob contains angle 3 and angle 4 so keep angle 3 and angle 4 as it is similarly for angle aod keep angle 7 and angle 8 as it is okay and substitute other angles from equations 1 2 3 and 4 so instead of angle 1 you will write equal to angle 8 plus instead of angle 2 you will write equal to angle 3 plus angle 3 keep it as it is angle 4 keep it as it is plus instead of angle 5 you will substitute angle 4 plus angle 6 instead of angle 6 you will you will write angle 
7 plus angle 7 equal to 360 degree. So after doing this, the same procedure is followed as you, we have done here. That is we get 2 times of angle 4, 2 times of angle 3, 2 times of angle 8 and 2 times of angle 7. So when you take 2 outside common and send this 2 to right hand side, we will get 360 by 2 that is equal to 180 degree. Right? So we will get angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 8 plus angle 7 equal to 180 degree. Okay, we are going to get this. Now, what is angle 3 plus angle 4 from the figure? Angle 3 plus angle 4 is nothing but angle BOC or you can write COB. Okay, so it is equal to angle COB plus angle 8 and angle 7 is equal to angle AOD equal to 180 degree. Right, so here again we have proved that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtend a supplementary angle at the center of circle right so in this manner you can prove these two statement or any one of the statement whichever they have asked accordingly in the question so if this question is again very easy if you understand the steps and try to practice this problem so with this question i complete whole chapter circles if you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be starting up a new chapter that is areas related to circles. You can also watch the related videos of chapter circles shown on the screen. And if you like my video, like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more such videos for you guys.